Hello guys and gals, me and Mudahar, and welcome to Puli Rula. Now, ever since we did Cho Anarchy, I always kind of wanted to look for something weirder, something a little more obscure, and something fresh out of Japan, it seems. Now, this is again Puli Rula, a game that's incredibly obscure. I don't know, it came under like 50 different names. In fact, I downloaded an obscure emulator. You've probably seen some of the gameplay right now. I saw like a really obscure emulator one time actually uh, playing the game until I found out through some research that it was actually available on the Sony PlayStation 1. Being the easiest to emulate, I'm going to try Puli Rula and see just how weird it is. Now, I've seen two screenshots of it. They've been incredibly weird. Fuck. I don't even know how to describe them. Okay, so we're just going to hit start. Now, it's got a memory card option. All right. Um meaning you can probably save this shit. And you can play it two-player, so if you manage to kidnap somebody using the old methods that I've taught you, then you can actually play this game cooperatively. Do I understand what's going on? No, it's some old man and a fucking kid, and now the kid's headed out, and it's time to beat the shit out of people. Now, one thing that I've noticed here is that, like, this game has, like, like no music to it whatsoever. It's actually really fucking weird. Alright, wait, what is going on here? Holy fucking hell, dude. Let me fix up the controls, this is so weird. Alright, alongside numerous things here, I managed to actually fix the, uh, game's background music. And we got the controls working again, so let's continue the adventures of Puli Rula. Now, the world is actually pretty nice. I gotta say, at the time, like, in terms of- Oh, what the fuck is this thing, man? Alright, now, apparently if I beat the shit out of enemies, it turn into fucking little puppies. So that's actually- What the fuck? No, it's actually a magic trick that I have, too, if you guys are looking really carefully. I turned them into cute little puppies. And apparently those cute little puppies out of- What the hell is this, dude? These are like Mega Man rejects. You get point now. Apparently it says go into the sewer. I'm just gonna follow what goes on here, man. What the fuck, dude? I fell down and killed a guy? <laughs> I don't even know what to say, man. Apparently I've already gotten into a boss battle. With what seems like this dude. And the boss battle is actually ridiculously fucking easy. Because all I'm doing is tapping the A key. Or X button, sorry. This is PlayStation 1. Alright. Now this game actually gets a little weird. What the hell, dude? <laughs> what the fuck, dude? What is, what is that with this puppet motherfucker? Apparently he's on my team now. I think. Oh shit, dude. That was not- Ah, the boss battle was way too easy for this, wasn't it? Um... Pff, fuck, you think I know what that means? Hell no. Hell no, dude. Uh, okay. Apparently time stopped. <laughs> what? Okay. That didn't explain shit. But apparently I beat R1. Let's go to R2 in the mountains. The mountains are apparently made out of crystal, dude. So, like, already it's, like, it's not as weird as Cho Anarchy, because Cho Anarchy had, like... Had... Okay? We got fucking Yeti Jellyfish. <laughs> You know, it's it's getting there. It's it's not there yet. <laughs> but I haven't seen everything, man, because what I saw in those screenshots was not normal. Why the heck is everything I kill turn- What the fuck, dude? We got Toucan Sam, drug addicted brother. <laughs> and they turn into little pigs, too. So I don't understand, like, well, okay, wait, we got the Mega Man. Okay, I can tell this game's gonna rehash some of the enemies over and over again. So apparently I have to also grab the- okay, wait, now we got jack-o'-lanterns. Okay. What the- dude, what the hell are these things? They're like fucking- Okay, I think I might need cheats for this as well, too. Just cause some of the hit detection in this game is a little bit- okay, what? Apparently I can level up in this game, I got life up. What is this guy? Nah, dude, you are fucking going down. This game is not, like, hard. If you can, like, lock the enemy in place, you basically win. Okay, alright, no, this is too fucking weird. I think this might even have to be censored. Look at that fucking nose, dude. <laughs> Shit, she kicked my ass. <laughs> what the fuck is this, dude? This is fucked. She gets more red every time I, like, every time I fucking hurt her or whatever. What is this, dude? This is like, I'm not even high enough for this shit, man. I lost all my lives, unfortunately. Okay. <laughs> what did that turn into? <laughs> what is he saying? I don't get it. If somebody, if somebody could translate the Japanese, that'd be much appreciated. Thank you very much, sir. I'll just head off in my... The levels are short, man. Like, is this how short the game's gonna be? Cause fuck no, dude. Is this how short the game's gonna be? I don't know. I feel like we might even beat it. What the fuck? Okay. All right, dude. This is this is when this is that precise moment you can tell when the game developers took LSD 
in a metric sh- I'm getting fucking assaulted by this chick's leg. This isn't fair. Okay, I have to go between the legs. Now we're getting deep. Man. You know, I don't want that door to actually open, dude. God, dude. The music has gotten weird too. It's like, it's like, the, yo, that's fucked up. The first two levels were normal. And then, and then like, and then out of nowhere, this level just completely lost all fucks to give. Right, okay, I gotta get all the piggies. Okay, come here, piggy. 150 points right there. I don't know what I got the magic thing up. I should prop. Oh my god, dude. Hit detection. What is this, man? Is fucking... What the hell? <laughs> It's fucking giant. Okay. Got beaten by a painting's tongue. Iriguchi is what it says on top. Holy shit, dude. Talk about the fucking enemy spam up the ass, bro. It keeps giving me magic up. I think that's like my base attack damage. Uh, yeah, of course I'd like to continue. Uh, alright, what is this, dude? See, like, that that person's smoking something. I'm pretty sure that's an accurate fucking- What is this guy mooning me in the back now? <laughs> what are the enemies, dude? <laughs> Why, Japan? What's wrong with you? What the fuck, Japan? <laughs> I mean, I mean, we excused you on the hentai fr- Well, no, we excused you on all that shit, okay? Alright, we said, alright, cool, we'll give you tentacles, but what is this shit? I think, like, okay, the thing with this enemy is, like, the hit detection's a little fuck- Fuck it, I'm just gonna go- The hit detection's off in this game, okay? Like, it may look, like, easy. You might be like, Mudahar, you're fucking up bad, dude. You're, you're DSPing this shit up. But I'll be honest with you. It's actually really fucking... It's something. Okay, what is this, dude? This is like if you gave my fucking ant steroids or some shit. What the fuck? I'm getting beaten by a fucking Japanese Rapunzel's fucking bowling ball hair? <laughs> this is hard. The music is weird, too. Like, the music is not an accurate representation of what's going on in this game. It sounds like something, uh, I don't know if you, I don't know if anybody here played, like, I'm pretty sure a lot of people in the, you know, video play. Like, you guys ever heard of that game, Advance Wars? If you listen closely, the BGM kind of sounds similar to that. I'm, I'm just, honestly, I'm, I just... What the fuck? What is this, dude? Holy shit, Tinkerbell came down and fucked her to death. Uh, don't know, dude. Whatever you're saying, it's flying right by my head. Yeah, he's pointing scared, dude. I don't think I should. Be. If that was level three, dude, I'd hate to fucking see what level four is. All right, we're in uh, we're in Lawrence of Arabia, boys and girls. See, it's like we just it's like it's like this level is like back to normalcy. Like this is like like yes, this is weird. Okay, <laughs> like we have that bombshell of a level. And now, this stuff seems so tame in comparison. There was no build-up to this. Ten out of it, nothing. No build-up. Oh, there's chicks, dude. dude. I should fucking, like, get a chick, man. Like, dude, let me tell you right now. Chicks are the cutest fucking animal ever. I remember in, like, primary school or whatever, we had, like, we had, uh, we had a chick incubator. God damn, those chicks were perf AF. What the- is that a platypus? Dude, I got 70 points with a platypus. God damn it, dude. My character has died numerous amounts of times. 11 minutes into the whole recording, and I can tell you right now, we have some fucked up game that we're looking at. Okay, what is this? A crab with a Venus full- what? This is a boss? This ain't a boss, dude. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. I got the piggy. Oh, not these fuckers again! These guys, dude, fuck. Oh, let's see, it's again, it seems fucking normal. It's like the most surreal game ever. Like, is it just like they have that one odd level? Like that one level where they develop like 45 metric tons of brain tumors and just decided to shit out a level? And everything else is coincidentally fine. Like, this stuff is okay, you know what I mean? Like, for Japan level, okay, you know what I mean? Like. If this was really- What the fuck is that in the background, dude? That's petrified people. Japan, we're getting back to that territory again, dude. Alright, here we go. Let me call this again. I feel like this has been- Okay. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Plants versus motherfucking- Dude, this is scary as shit. This is fucked, dude. That's a wall made out of once living people, dude. It's fucked. Japan, what, what do we do to you, dude? What the fuck? I mean, I, I guess it's not to be ethnocentric. God damn it, dude. Japanese are interesting people. 
Like, otherwise, like, this game's actually not bad. Like, it just rehashes enemies up the ass. Here we go, let's get the puppy. I don't know how much points I have, dude. I probably have a lot. You can't go inside these buildings, which is unfortunate. I feel like we're in some, like, post-apocalyptic world. I feel like this is, like, from a cartoon television show that I'm just not getting a lot of references to. I don't even know what this thing is. Like, what does it do, dude? What is it supposed- Oh, wait, is it just- What is it even supposed to do? That's scary. See, like, this is- Okay, wait, we're in some, uh, tribal area. Holy shit, does that guy have a fucking horn for his penis? Uh, he's apparently saying something to me. Dude, no way, stay away! He's fucking doing this dance and shit. He's fucking thrusting me! He's thrusting me with this fucking horn penis, and it's killing me! That's not fucking fair, dude! I wish I could get Tinkerbell, dude. I cannot win against this guy if I don't have Tinkerbell. See, like, it's kind of weird, because the first battle was, like, retardedly easy. And it's just this battle where all the shits get thrown out. Okay, I can put my name in here. Let's just put BBB, dude. BBB. Maybe I can, like, continue from where I left off. Maybe. Maybe I could. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, my brain actually really, really fucking hurts. And uh, I don't know what it is about this game, but it's making this, like, fucking brain-eating parasite go into my body. It's fucking weird. Um, what do I think about this game? Is it weirder than Cho Anarchy? In some ways, yeah. I don't know what the fuck Japan was smoking when they came up with this game, but if this exists in other media, I kind of want to see it. Just looking at the demo playout is actually pretty scary. And if you can see, that girl is actually the second character, so maybe it's a brother-sister team. Maybe it's a brother-sister team where what they do is they fucking turn shit into animals, and I don't know, maybe we're the bad guys. I have no idea what to say about this game. It's another weird offering from Japan. And ladies and gentlemen, I have gotten some more weird offerings from Japan. So until next time, I will share with you all some more bounties and beautiful video games from the Japanese market. If you liked what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike if you dislike it. If you understood what you saw, please help translate it for me and the rest of the audience below in the comments section. This is me, Mudahar, and I am out. Apparently that's a bad guy right there, and he's apparently keying this shit up, man. But you know what? I'm keying for an extra, so fuck you, dude. Goodbye. Look at how excited that old chick is over there. God damn.